Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin continues to hold below this descending trend line, which we discussed in the previous video. We're dealing with a situation in which um, the price actually formed that one more low that I wanted to see. And also with a situation in which the price actually hit this target area, 60,140, one of the key levels that I pointed out in the last few days. Um, so technically speaking, the low could actually be in, in the yellow count. So we will talk about that right now. However, as long as we don't break above resistance, I have no confirmed low in play. So I will tell you in this video, which levels need to break to indicate and confirm that at least a low of sorts is in place and maybe the entire wave four correction is completed. What I wanna stress here in this video is that throughout the last few weeks, as you will know, I was not happy at all with the structure, at least, well, shouldn't say I wasn't happy with the structure. I mean, it's a normal corrective structure, but I wasn't really happy with a bottoming structure. So whenever a correction is unfolding, we are paying attention to certain structures and we want a certain yeah structure to complete before we can with confidence say that a correction could be complete. But just because such a structure is formed, doesn't mean the correction has to be completed. It just means that if we now rally, there is good likelihood that the low is in. And that point is now, okay? So that is where I change my tone really from saying, okay, so far I don't like the bottoming structure, but now with that lower low, that's precisely what I wanted to see. So that's very, very important. That's a change and that's a positive change. So we have two counts. Um, I've taken the previous alternative count from the chart and introduced the new, ye the new yellow count. Did we talk about that in the last video already? I think so. Um, but which count do we, or wh which scenarios are we actually dealing with? So we're dealing with a situation which the uh, on the 13th of March, a third wave topped. We're now in the white count in a W, X, Y structure. And this Y wave is an A, B, C pattern, and this B wave corrective rally likely topped on Monday, and this C wave to the downside is unfolding right now, and the C wave is a five wave move. I'm going to zoom in in a minute, but basically in this C wave to the downside, the idea is that we had a one, two setup, third wave down is now unfolding, fourth wave bounce could still happen, fifth wave could still happen, and my take is down to 57.5K, maybe even a little bit lower. So that's the white scenario, which is still valid. And I'm going to zoom in in a minute and talk about the levels. In the yellow count, and that's very important, we don't have a W, X, Y pattern. Instead, we have an A, B, C. In this scenario, the C wave is an ending diagonal, and we have a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, basically completed. The wave five is an A, B, C structure, and so is the third wave, so is the wave one. I didn't fully, yeah, I'm not fully leaning towards this scenario because um, the fourth wave is quite strong. Okay, not too strong for a diagonal, but the wave one looks more like a five wave move. And actually, I mean, okay, the, the third wave could easily be an ABC due to that extended move down here, but still, um, they are both sort of likely, but I can't fully lean towards the yellow count. It, it nevertheless means now that I have at least one scenario in which the low could be in. Okay, so that doesn't mean it has to be in. That means we can still look for lower prices as long as resistance levels are holding. But if now a break of resistance occurs, I would say that probably the low is in. Now, a break of initial micro resistance will not be enough to confirm a low is in, but the earliest or the first line of resistance is here between 61,315 and 62,256. If we break uh, above that, then we're dealing with the next resistance range between 63,310 and 65,430. It's going to be the next key resistance range and then we can look for lower prices from there still. But if we now get five waves up above 65,428, then I have to say the low was likely in. Until then, for further trend continuation to the downside in the white count or even in the yellow count, this micro resistance area needs to hold 
between 62,256 and 61,315 and we can get in the white count for example another 345 then another 45 or the low will form here but because of that lower low and because we reached the first target here uh, the low could be in so I'm, I'm literally just watching for reversals now that's different to anything I said before about this because uh, the structure didn't clearly give us any indication so we didn't before we didn't have any indication the low was in and also not a great bottoming structure now we have a bottoming bottoming structure that's okay but still no sign that the low is in place so I need to see a break of resistance as a minimum that's my update about Bitcoin Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.